What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Google Ads bid strategies. So I'm going to go through each and every bid strategy, when you would use them, and the ones that I use the most. So let's, get, let's start over here with some of the different smart bidding strategies. So these are bidding strategies that optimize for conversions. The top four are the ones that are the most popular that you're gonna use the most often. So those are the ones I'm gonna go through in detail. So you have target cost per action, which is also referred to as target CPA. You have target return on ad spend, which is also referred to as target ROAS. You have maximized conversions, maximized conversion value, and then enhanced cost per click. So let's go through each of these and let's start with the top two. So over here on the left, we have target CPA, target cost per action, and then over on the right, we have target ROAS, so target return on ad spend. So with target CPA, you're targeting a specific cost for each conversion. So an average cost that you wanna pay for every single conversion through Google Ads, and Google Ads is automatically gonna set your bids to drive as many conversions as possible. Now you do have some control over these different bidding strategies as far as maximum and minimum bid limits, which I'll go through a little bit later on in the video, but ultimately what you're doing is you're telling Google Ads, so here's an example at the bottom. Each lead for plumbing company ABC, so just a fake company, is worth $75 on average. So they set a target CPA of $50 to drive profitable leads. So that means for every single lead they drive, ultimately they're making $25. So your goal essentially is to get your target CPA down as low as possible so you can make as much money as possible on the leads that you're driving. Now target return on ad spend, you're targeting a specific conversion value. It's in the form of a percentage. So for example, if we're looking at shoe company ABC, let's just say they sell shoes, they set a target return on ad spend of 300%. So that means they wanna drive $300 in revenue for every $100 they spend on advertising. So let's come over here to Google Ads real quick and we're gonna open up this search campaign. And in this search campaign, I am driving conversions. Now, one of the main things if you are using smart bidding strategies is you do need an active conversion in your account. So you can see if we come to tools and settings and then we go to measurement and conversions, it will open up this page here and you can create new conversion actions and you can import them directly from Google Analytics and other sources as well. You can use website conversions where you're gonna to have to add a pixel to your website and it's gonna track all the conversions on your website. You can track actions on your app and you can track phone calls as well. So once you're actually optimizing for conversions, what you wanna do is go into your campaign. So we up, open up our search campaign here and we come over to settings and you can see right here under settings, my marketing objective for this campaign is sales. So if we click on the drop down, you can see they have sales, leads, and website traffic or no goal guidance. So for example, I have sales here, so I'm trying to drive conversions for this campaign. So if we come down here to bidding, you can see I have a bid strategy here and I'm actually using what's called a portfolio bid strategy, which I will go through in a minute. But let's just say change bid strategy you can see target CPA from the drop down here. So if we do click on the drop down, some of the different options here. So I haven't gone over maximize clicks yet, but essentially you're trying to get the most clicks within your budget, maximize conversions. So you're trying to get the most conversions within your budget. And what makes it actually a target CPA bid strategy is when we click on maximize conversions, instead of just letting Google maximize our conversions, we actually set how much we want to pay for each conversion. So when I click set a target cost per action, so you can see this is optional, I can actually enter a number here and they're gonna enter a recommendation based on the past average cost per conversion in this campaign. So you would go to maximize conversions and then set your target CPA. Now the other one is what you would do is click on maximize conversion value and you would set a target return on ad spend. My recommended target return on ad spend for this campaign is 46% which would actually mean that I'm spending more than I'm actually making on my website. So a couple different ways to look at these. For target CPA, it's essentially maximize conversions with a value attached to it. Target ROAS is maximize conversion value with a percentage attached to it. So that will bring us to the next two bid strategies, maximize conversions and maximize conversion value. So maximize conversions, you're just trying to drive as many conversions as possible within your budget. So using the same example as before, plumbing company ABC sets a daily budget of $250 and they just wanna drive as many conversions as possible while spending their daily budget. 
So when you use target CPA, you can actually limit how much you're going to spend because Google ads is going to do whatever they can to drive you conversions at the number that you set. So sometimes they're not even going to spend your full daily budget because they're just trying to drive you the most optimal conversions as possible. Maximize conversions, you say spend my budget and drive as many conversions as possible. Now maximize conversion value, you're essentially attaching revenue instead of just saying, you know, one lead, you're saying I want to drive sales and you can use a dynamic value for how much each sale is worth for your business or you can say every single lead is worth $75 for example. So with maximized conversion value, Shoe Company ABC is setting a daily budget of $250 to drive as much conversion value while spending their daily budget. So assuming they're selling shoes at different prices, you could say we had five conversions today at a total conversion value of let's say $500 in revenue. So essentially that would be a 200% return on ad spend, but the conversion value is actually gonna vary based on what you're selling. So these are the different smart bidding strategies that would optimize for conversions. Now the last one is enhanced cost per click. So if we just come over here real quick and we click on the drop down again, we do manual CPC. So manual CPC, we're actually setting our own maximum cost per click for our ads. So when we're bidding on a specific keyword, I can say, I want to bid $1 for this keyword. So if I'm saying help increase conversions with enhanced CPC, what enhanced CPC is gonna do is increase or decrease your bids when a conversion is more likely. So they will actually automatically raise your bid or decrease your bid for certain keywords and just basically certain signals where Google Ads says this search and this person is more likely to convert so basically it gives you a little bit more automation to drive conversions while actually still controlling your own bids based on what you're targeting so i would not really recommend using enhanced cpc anymore because what you're able to do is use something like target cpa or target return on ad spend and you can set maximum bid limits which is a much better way to control your campaigns now next are bidding strategies for clicks and these are pretty self-explanatory. So you have maximized clicks and you have manual CPC. So maximized clicks is going to drive as many clicks as possible within your budget. So using the same examples, plumbing company ABC sets a daily budget of $250 and they just wanna drive as many clicks as possible while spending their daily budget. Now manual CPC, you actually set a manual bid for each click. So let's just say shoe company ABC uses manual CPC. They set bids at $1. So they would avoid paying more than $1 for each click on average. So when you're there looking at their cost per click, it's always going to end up under $1 if you're just using manual CPC. So if we come back over here, so let's just say we do this. So manual CPC, you actually have to set your own bids for every single keyword you're targeting or anything that you're targeting between the search network or the display network. Now what we can do is if we click on the drop down again, we click on maximize clicks. So what you're better off doing is trying to maximize clicks and setting a maximum cost per click limit. So basically what you're saying is, I don't wanna set a bid for every single keyword that I'm targeting. In a campaign where you're targeting hundreds of keywords, it would be difficult to kind of keep up with all the different bids. So what you're better off doing is using something like maximize clicks and setting a maximum CPC bid limit. Now, truthfully, where you really wanna be is maximize conversions and maximize conversion value, as long as you're using conversion tracking, because then it's gonna actually focus on the main key performance indicators that your website is optimizing for. Okay, so last but not least, bidding strategies for impressions. So we have target impression share, there is CPM, there is target CPM, viewable CPM, and cost per view. Now, truthfully, I don't use these that often, Target impression share can be really useful if you're bidding on either local keywords or brand keywords, and you wanna make sure you're getting a certain share of the overall available impressions for the keywords that you're targeting. So for example, if I'm targeting the keyword Surfside PPC on Google, what I can do is say, I want a 100% impression share, so no matter what my ad is showing when someone is searching for my brand. Now I don't do that, but there are some cases where you might wanna actually make sure you're at the top of the Google results when people are searching for your brand. Now target CPM, you're actually setting a target for how much you're willing to pay for every 1,000 impressions for your advertisement. Viewable CPM, so essentially it's target CPM, but making sure your ad impression is actually viewable on the page. And then you have cost per view, which is for video campaigns. 
Now, cost per view isn't as popular as it used to be. It used to be the main way to run your video ads. Now you can use a lot of these smart bidding strategies to make sure you're optimizing for conversions when you are running video campaigns. So cost per view, you're essentially setting a bid for how much you wanna pay for every single view on your advertisement for a video ad. So the two that I'm gonna go through in a little bit more detail here, target impression share. So you're focusing on impressions on the Google search network. You're targeting a specific percentage of available impressions. So plumbing company ABC wants ads to show at least 75% of the time for local plumbing keywords. So let's just say they're a plumbing company in Chicago. So every time someone searches emergency plumber in Chicago, they wanna have at least a 75% impression share. So you're not focused on clicks, you're not focused on conversions, you're focused on making sure your ad is showing up for those keywords. Now, viewable CPM, you're setting how much you're willing to pay for every 1,000 viewable ad impression. So let's say shoe company ABC is running an annual sale, wants as many impressions for their display ads as possible. So just some different options that you have depending on the campaign that you're running. So if we come back over here to Google Ads again, we're gonna come out of our search campaign and we're gonna go into our display campaign here and let's come over to settings. And if we come over here to bidding, so right now it's a target CPA bid strategy, what we can do is let's click on the drop down, and we're gonna do viewable CPM here. So with viewable CPM, we're focusing on viewable impressions rather than conversions, rather than clicks. We click on save and now basically our ad is gonna be shown more often. We're gonna be getting more impressions and we're gonna make sure those impressions are viewable. So a viewable ad impression means that somebody actually scrolled to the page where the ad showed up and it's not buried at the bottom of a website. So we'll click on cancel here for now and let's just come back over to all campaigns and let's just click on the plus sign here. We're gonna create a new campaign. We're gonna create a campaign without any goals guidance. Now one thing to keep in mind, if you're using sales or leads as your objective, then you want to use one of those smart bidding strategies like target CPA, like target return on ad spend, or maximize conversions or maximize conversion value. Now website traffic, you actually get more options there because you're not going to be overly focused on sales or leads, you're just trying to drive clicks. If we click on product and brand consideration here, it's just going to bring up the video campaign type. If we choose influence consideration and we click on continue, then what you're gonna see is maximum CPV is our bid strategy. So the maximum cost per view bid strategy. Now, if we come back and we create a new campaign and let's just say we're trying to drive sales and we do a video campaign for this one. So we click on continue and we choose video. Then we're gonna be using some of those smart conversion bidding strategies. So let's click on cancel and I'm gonna come back over to my search campaign. Okay, so I came in the settings of the search campaign here and the last thing I'm gonna go through after this is actually creating a portfolio bid strategy. So we come to our bidding here and we do change bid strategy. We click on the drop down. You can see target impression share. So you have three different options. So you can choose anywhere on the results page, the top of the results page and the absolute top of the results page. So just a quick example, if we go to Google, we search marketing soft software. This is the absolute top of the results page. This is the top of the results page. Both of these would be considered the top, but this is the absolute top. And then if we come to the bottom, we're gonna see some advertisements here at the bottom, and this is anywhere on the search page. So just different ways to understand how your bidding is going to be for target impression share. But if I say anywhere on the results page, I wanna be 75%. Then for all the keywords that I'm targeting, it's gonna make sure that I, my ads are showing at a 75% impression share. You could also set a maximum CPC bid limit in this case. Now this is really more popular for brand keywords or if you really wanna make sure you're getting as much impression share as possible during a certain time of the year. However, I would just highly recommend focusing on conversions or conversion value. Now the last thing we're gonna go through is if we come to tools and settings here, we go to shared library and we click on bid strategies. So we're gonna continue, go to our portfolio bid strategies page. And let's just create a new portfolio bid strategy and you can see there's different options here. So you can choose target CPA, target ROAS, maximize clicks, maximize conversions, maximize conversion value and target impression share. So let's just keep it simple and we'll do target CPA. And what we can do is name our bid strategy. So let's just say example, target CPA. You can select the campaigns you want to apply it to. So it'll bring up all the campaigns that you can actually apply it to in your account. 
So I could say I wanna apply this to the display campaign and we're gonna click on done. We can set a target CPA here. So it's saying my recommended target CPA is 250. A lot of times I will set exactly what Google gives me or something slightly lower. Now keep in mind the goal is to drive conversions at a lower cost than they're going to actually cost your business. So if a conversion for my business is worth $1 and I'm spending $2.50 for each conversion, then obviously my campaign is not optimal. So the campaign that I'm running now is not optimal because the way my website is set up is very difficult to drive optimal conversions because it's an affiliate website. So clicks and conversions for my specific business are kind of impossible to run profitable Google Ads campaigns. But if we are just showing the example here, I have the target CPA set at 250, click on um, advanced options. We can set maximum bid limits and minimum bid limits. So if I say, I really wanna get my costs down, I will not willing to spend more than 35 cents for a click, and I wanna make sure I'm spending at least five cents per click. I can click on save, and now I have a new portfolio bid strategy. And if you click on it, you can apply it to different campaigns. So these are all the different options we have here. So if you choose something like maximize conversions, you can set a target cost per action through this portfolio bid strategy. Now keep in mind if you are using target CPA, it's different than maximize conversions because Google Ads is going to try to hit the target CPA that you set. So one thing you might wanna do when you're starting a new campaign is use something like maximize clicks or maximize conversions for several weeks, see how your campaign is performing, and then what you wanna do over time is trying to increase your budget and then also try to drive more conversions at a lower cost within your budget or more conversion value. So I like using target CPA and target return on ad spend. You wanna set a return on ad spend that will be optimal for your business and ultimately what you're trying to do is improve it over time. So hopefully this all makes sense with the different bid strategies available. You really wanna make sure you're targeting these smart bidding strategies and optimizing for the different conversions for your business because that's gonna allow you to get the most out of your Google Ads campaign. So if you have any questions about Google Ads bid strategies, some of them I didn't go through in as much detail just because I really don't use them as often. There's not really that many uses for them. And if you're watching this video, I would probably say you're most likely gonna wanna use one of these target CPA, target return on ad spend, or maximize conversions or maximize conversion value. Now what you can do to get started is use a maximize clicks until you, are, you do have conversion tracking set up completely on your website very easy to do conversion tracking and I will do a video tutorial about different ways to track conversions on your website but if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel